this is my first time ever in Sarasota, Florida. And the funny thing is, when we decided to move back from Spain to the United States, we were this close to choosing Florida over Texas because, I mean, look, the weather is beautiful. And my package is missing something. The weather is beautiful. The taxes are low. If I'm being honest, though, it wasn't going to be Sarasota. It was going to be Miami. Sarasota, I'm not trying to talk trash, but this seems like where all the old people come to retire. Anyway, we are here for a very important reason. But first, we got to take a look at what's inside this package right here. The Amazon dropped off at my hotel this morning. Do you even know you could get packages dropped off to your hotel, bro? That blew my mind. Oh, shit, bro. That is going to be our ride for the day, man. The Porsche got nothing on this. So in this package, we have the DJI Osmo Action 4. And you can see that it says standard combo, which is a little bit messed up because I paid for the adventure combo. It has some extra things. And Amazon sent me the wrong one. That's a first for Amazon, so I let it slide this time. But basically, it's a small little camera that is supposed to be insanely powerful damn bro these bikes actually whip a little bit but but not that much we're slowly making our way across one of these big old florida bridges over to the keys to check out the beach and that's the beauty of these little cameras it fits in my hand it stabilizes the image even if i'm flipping it around like that i'm curious how it looks though drop a comment let me know how it's looking Sarasota starting to grow on me a little bit, man. It's beautiful out here. I can see myself, you know, moving over here with Julia once we get to be 80 years old. You know, a young 80 years old, maybe decide to run for president then. Bro, I have not touched the ocean water since back when we were in Spain. It feels amazing. Oh, bro, that, that ocean. What the fuck? Welcome to the Grand Caymans. Funny story, my parents actually booked this trip for us a year ago thinking we were still going to live in Spain, but here we are. Wait, hold up. You're saying we're, you're saying this ain't Sarasota? <laughs> no. Welcome to the Grand Caymans, y'all. Take a look at this dope Airbnb that Julia's parents booked us right next to the ocean here. And I'm gonna kick off this vacation the only way that a young G knows how with the dope backflip. Y'all ready for this? Three, two, one. So our ride for the week is gonna be this bad boy right here. Julia, what is it? A Jeep Unlimited Wrangler Sport. I think it's a Wrangler Unlimited Sport, but you get the gist. It's <laughs> some type of sport. We're gonna take the top off of this thing, go topless, man. I've never driven a Jeep topless before. So I guess just the top folds back, which is not as cool. I was hoping everything came off. All right, the top is off. It's our first time ever in the Grand Cayman, my first time ever in the Caribbean. And in the past, when I go on vacation, I'd just be like trying to get drunk, chill, not do anything. But I'm gonna tell you, my life has got a whole lot more exciting when I've looked at vacations as these epic adventures because like we're in this beautiful place we've never been before, bro. And we're gonna go explore. We're gonna take y'all along for the ride. Directions hard to find Under the stars up in the sky over one hour later, we've arrived at the destination. I, I kind of thought this was supposed to be a small island, but if you take a look at the map on my phone, there's no roads that go across it, so you've got to go all the way around the damn thing. But now we're here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. So we found this really cool area. Honestly, what does this remind you of? Tulum. Definitely Tulum <laughs> vibes, man. This is right by Seven Mile Beach, which is the main area here in, in Grand Cayman. First things first. Wifey needs a coffee. Wifey always needs a coffee first. So I gotta say, this looks ridiculous, but give us the score. Mykonos iced coffee out of 10. Better or worse than Starbucks? Well, oh. oh, it's very strong. Very strong. Ah, uh, seven out of 10. Starbucks? I mean, it's the goat. Help us settle a debate. I feel like I look like I belong on a safari, like the wild thornberries. You remember that show, 90s show? Does she look more like wild thornberries? Or in my opinion, it's kind of like Jack Black in Jumanji. No! Comment below, Jack Black or wild thornberries? So while Julia takes down that coffee, I'm gonna take down this pre-workout. It's Beast Fuel mixed in Gatorade because driving with the top down for an hour, I feel like severely dehydrated and maybe sunburns. And parts of the adventure is trying out the local gym. We're gym tourists and the gym here. It looks absolutely sick. It's, uh, it's a bit expensive. I think it's like 400 a month for gym membership. Which, which is, is wild, wild. 200 a week for a week pass. 
but I got high expectations. If this isn't the best gym I've ever been to, I don't know. I don't know. Girl, complete, bro. Thoughts about the gym? Eh, it was just okay. I don't know. I mean, I thought it was solid. I got an intense workout. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight, bro. Sorry, bro, but you're not gonna sleep well tonight. But who, who are you? What are you, what are you talking about, man? The, the mattress at the Airbnb is not a nice helix like you got back home. I didn't think about that. Well, the good news for the rest of y'all is that you can sleep like a baby every single night because today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. So basically, Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. It all starts with the Helix Sleep quiz that's gonna match you with the perfect mattress based on your body type and sleep preferences. Now, personally, I alternate between sleeping on my back and my sides, and I prefer a medium firm mattress. So based on that, I got matched with the Helix Midnight Lux mattress. I've had mine for over three years now, and I can confidently say it increased my sleep quality. I fall asleep faster, I tend to be a hot sleeper, I stay a lot cooler throughout the entire night as well. And the best part is Helix delivers the mattress right to your door with free shipping in the USA. The mattress comes rolled up in a box and it is super easy to set up. There's a 100 night sleep trial to test out the mattress and ensure that you love it. It comes back with a 10 year warranty and they even offer flexible payment options. If you've been considering getting a new mattress, now is the perfect time because if you go to helixsleep.com slash beast or click that first link in the description, you're gonna get 20% off your Helix mattress. Plus they're gonna throw in two free pillows. Honestly, this thing's a game changer. Click that link and grab yours now. called Seven Mile Beach. It's supposed to be the nicest beach on the island. Honestly. I think it's seven miles long. It might be seven <laughs> miles long. I'm, I'm, I mean, I imagine that's how it got the name. This is up there with like Tulum and Bermuda beaches. This is next level. Look at the water. Look at the white sands. They kick that white sand around like that. <laughs> and today, Julie is going in the water with me, which is rare, because normally she's worried about sharks and shit. Okay, but like this water, you can like really see, so I'm not like sketched out, you know? I'm a little bit more worried about pirates. Oh my god, they like really sink in. You're not worried Ooh, about- it's a little chilly. You're not worried about pirates? Oh, because of the Caribbeans. I met, this is where they're at, right? What is that? Oh, it's a rock, it's a rock, okay. Or do I like do like a, a back thing? Well, be careful, because if you do this, sometimes you might end up back in Florida. <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna go under. Oh, so friggin' nice, oh my god. This is like, I think this is the nicest water I've ever been in. All right, I'm about to risk this all, Julia. This might be the end of our relationship. I don't know where I'm going. We still, we still in Bermuda? The Grand Cayman? We still here? Honestly, the water is the perfect temperature. Florida is a little bit warm. This is, it's warm, but it's like still nice and relaxing and refreshing. But it's like turquoise water, so you can like see the little. Creek. What's that? Is that a shark? Stop it! Don't you can't you can't even yell that. There's people around. Is that a bomb? So I'm not sure if any of y'all have heard of the Boeing 737 Maxes. Those are the ones that the Boeing whistleblower talked about before he mysteriously got killed. Uh, committed suicide after he said his life was all good. It's also the Ethiopia plane that went down into the ground. There was a Southwest plane, the engine cover fell off. And that's the, the plane we were on from Tampa to Grand Cayman. And I or, or Julia was on that. I mean, I just went under the water and, <laughs> and did it. But I heard that on the plane, Julia was like talking really loudly about okay. to the guy next to us about, wow, this is the plane that was the same model that went down. That's, I think that's worse than saying the word bomb on a plane because that's like a legit thing that could happen. No. But David didn't tell me until after. Or no, you told me like right when we were getting on it. He's like, hey, I just want to let you know. I didn't get on it. I, I went into the water. found this cool little beach restaurant that also reminds me of Tulum here and we got some drinks take a look at this spicy margarita Julia a skinny margarita I don't know what the fuck that is <laughs> chin chin money ain't a thing that is bro outside of Texas you can't get a good spicy margarita Ooh. Rank, rate it that's a 9.8 out of 10 maybe 10 out of 10 spicy margarita wow 
You rate it. Mine's like a seven out of 10. Nah, I almost forgot to tell y'all. The reason we were in Florida, I told you it was an important reason, is because our good friends were getting married. Julia was in the wedding. She was a bridesmaid. She looked stunning that night as usual. I also look pretty good in my suit if I say so myself. And the funny thing is these friends actually got engaged two days before our wedding in Spain. I want to ask you a question. Because okay. I feel like girls, Y'all know, they, they fantasize about their wedding day their entire life. They want it to be perfect. They look forward to it so much. Our wedding was exactly one year and six months ago to the day. So now I'm curious in retrospect, looking back on it, what's something, A, was it everything you imagined it to be, and B, what's something that, that stands out to you in retrospect? A, yes, it was absolutely perfect. I don't think I could change anything about it. And B, I think the best part about it was obviously marrying the man of my dreams, right? But I think also being around friends and family, like it was such a special moment to have everyone you love in the same spot celebrating you and like your marriage, like it was perfect. As a man, I feel like I didn't, not that I wasn't looking forward to the marriage or the wedding, because I was, and it was an amazing day and I got to marry wifey over here. But what I didn't expect was how emotional it was going to be because it was like all of our close friends and family, they were in Sevilla, Spain at the same time celebrating us. We were running into them into the streets. <laughs> yep. The day of the wedding, they were all there, you know, wanting to share this moment with us. And it's it was emotional. It was special. And like there's never going to be another time that all those people are in the same place with us ever again. I, uh, it meant a lot. We never kiss on camera. Yeah, yeah so why not? Because I'm a gangster. <laughs> and this morning we're about to head out on a boat. What are we doing, Julia? We're snorkeling with the stingrays. I don't think I ever, I don't think I ever touched the stingray. We're gonna try and touch them. puppy dogs they're so freaking cute yeah honestly i thought it was gonna be like a dumb tourist thing but it's really fucking cool they just come all around you i guess they live to be like 20 to 30 years old which seems ridiculous i would have assumed they live four or five years i don't know why and they just live they live out here in this little sandbar We're like out way away from the island but it's only you know four three four feet deep it's wild man About to head out to a nice island dinner tonight with the parents, Julia's parents, Alphas for the night. I'm rocking the new Edge Active Polo with some white linen pants, classy combination. Julia over here looking stunning. <laughs> I'm wearing this new pink dress. I love it. And I got some big news for y'all because on Monday we're dropping a new free challenge. You probably remember back in January we did the New Year's challenge. Over 7,000 guys joined up. We saw some amazing, inspiring results. And this one is gonna build on that challenge. It's gonna be even bigger. So if you're serious about taking your life to the next level this year, it all starts on on Monday. If you click that link in the description, you can get early access, hop into the challenge before anyone else. Click that link. We're going to get dinner. So this is Jim, Julia's dad. Say hi to Beast Nation. Hey Beast Nation. And we're going to ask him a question at dinner because you are a successful business owner and we're going to get some advice from you. Are you ready? I'm looking forward to it. Cheers. Cheers. Getting started with the darkest storm. It's like a typical island rum based drink. I don't even like rum that much, but we're trying it out. Jim, your question is, what would you tell someone based on your life experience who's 24, 25 years old in today's world is trying to get to the next level? That if you're going to be successful, it's all about how hard do you want to work. I think uh, when I look at the younger generations, I don't feel like you work like our generation where we were taught that you had to work hard to get ahead. And I think today... Um, you can't just cruise through things. I think you have to put the time and the effort in to be something. And if you're not willing to invest the time, then you can't complain about the benefits you don't get. It's great to get free time and relax, but that doesn't necessarily guarantee success. So work hard. Respect. So I started out with some crispy calamari. For the main dish, I got old school beef crispy tacos. I asked for their hottest hot sauce. They gave me Alvin's homemade they told me this is dangerous. They told me I might have to jump into the water. I don't think so. Oh, David, David. That's your biggest person. <laughs> no pussy shit, man. Big hot sauce service. It is hot. 
it is no, it's hot. But after that crazy hot ones, hot sauce Julia bought me, I don't think anything's that hot anymore. Woo. Okay, it's pretty high. And just like that, the vacation has come to an end. We got our baggage about to head to the airport and our matching Gaines Club, Gaines Club shirts. <laughs> the Gaines team's about to come through the airport, baby. I appreciate you guys watching, sharing these memories with us. Do not stop watching now. I recommend you watch that video next. That is my most recent upload, and it is a banger. Click there to watch that now. I'll talk to you in the next video. Stay beastly.